We are super excited to check this place out. We've, we've been stalking it on Instagram for God knows how long. I found and out about this house like I think a year ago on Pinterest. It's, it's definitely got that mid-century flavour and look that's um, got a lot of attention on social media which is you know really great but for us it's it was an overt style particularly it's more about in keeping with the streetscape of this neighbourhood. Yeah definitely which yeah. you've done so well and the thing that I love the most is the fact that this house is five years old. We were lucky enough to, you know, salvage and, and draw on a lot of materials and things from the original house that was that was here, yeah. um, and roll those over into the new house. So there was still a legacy of uh, what was here before, yeah. uh, and a touchstone for the owners because it was their house mm -hmm. um, before that for many years. So yep. um, there's a sense of connection there, which is really important to us. Obviously, we're team rebuild, so we want to flatten their houses and start again. But mm. we can recycle some of the bricks that they have in their existing house and make them into the features that this house has. One of the biggest things that stands out to me is that Y column. I mean, that's the biggest nod to mid-century architecture and it just works perfectly with this house. We're very happy to build a carport out the front. The traditional structures of those mid-century homes were very crisp and minimal yeah. um, and you know luckily we were managed to achieve that um, using the Bondor products oh, yeah. um, for example with the elegance finish underneath which just gave it that little bit of texture mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and gave us that crisp edge um, so it looks like it's floating and hovering yeah. which mm. we're really looking for. This is my dream home. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this this house design is right down our alley. We've kind of forgotten about the renovator rebuild. We're taking <laughs> ideas for ourselves. The architect, Paul, is, is so far ahead of trend when he designed this house nearly 10 years ago. I know. Bringing all these curves into play. And I mean, they are so popular now mm -hmm. that, you know, everyone loves them. Okay, Paul, I'm actually in love with this home. Like, <laughs> legitimately in love. Walking through into that breezeway is incredible. The breezeway at the front, yeah, we've got to get air through the house. Yeah. It's also nice to be looking through the building when you arrive. Another thing that I absolutely love is how open it is. All of the doors fold right back and even in the kitchen, you can fully walk outside. It's incredible. Yeah, look, Peter and Jackie from much further north, so they're used to an outdoor lifestyle and a more tropical climate. So all these spaces to help them not feel uh, small and yeah. tight and cramped, yeah. um, we have a generous volume. Yep. Definitely. Uh, and we have lots of windows that connect to the outside. We have big stacking doors yep. that physically connect you to the outside. So mm. there's a constant touchstone mm. of the natural environment or the landscape as part of the living areas. Definitely. Yeah. A lot of what this house is doing is passive design. Yep. Um, so we don't need to switch any lights on during the day mm -hmm. um, to, to illuminate spaces. The slab absorbs you know, the winter sun mm -hmm. and warms up the, the spaces. The biggest thing I think is the fact that it's probably 30% smaller than it was going to be. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's easily the most sustainable thing we did yep. about the house. Nothing to do with technology it's or it's it just physically making it what it needed to be. Yeah. I think that's where people get lost when designing a home. Everyone wants a big giant home and then and then but they don't think about the heating costs, the cooling costs, you know, the extra materials that you're gonna be using to, to get that house. If you build a mm. house that is just enough for you to live in and what you need to live in, then you're gonna cut your costs. Yeah. Exactly. You're gonna you know make the house way more sustainable to live through. And I mean I think it's an amazing achievement. I think what we can take from this house uh, to give us that little bit of an edge against Michael and Carleen is that this house was originally designed as a renovation. Yep. So, but if we can go back to the homeowners and sort of pitch to them that it's only going to be that little bit more and you get exactly what you want and the layout you want, and you know, I think that will really get us across the line.